The Cleveland Cavaliers were already having a great season, but they just found a way to upgrade this team even more. This is what Keris Levert brings to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Hey yo, what's good with y'all? My name is Will and welcome back to Will Soul Trail Hoops. Yesterday, the Pacers and the Cavs agreed on a deal sending Keris Levert and a 2022 second round pick to Cleveland for Ricky Rubio, a lottery protected 2022 first round pick, a 2022 second round pick, and a 2027 second round pick. Obviously, this is a major pickup for the Cleveland Cavaliers as they only gave up draft capital that is outside of the lottery and a player that literally cannot even see the court right now since Ricky Rubio is recovering from a recent ACL tear. The fourth seed in the East just gave up nothing from their current rotation to add a high quality starter into their lineup. But let's talk about that high quality starter some more, how he's gonna fit with this team and overall what he can bring to the table in Cleveland. The Cavaliers already have one of the best defenses in the entire NBA. The third best defensive rating while giving up the least points per game in the league at 102.1, forcing opponents to shoot the fourth lowest field goal percentage of 44%. And the main reason for their defensive success is, of course, those two bigs of theirs, Jared Allen and Evan Mobley. I made an entire video breaking down how amazing these two are on the defensive end because it had to be done. It's a nightmare trying to score against these two, hence why they give up the least points in the NBA. Having a long lineup that includes three seven footers also does major work for them, especially when those guys can guard the perimeter effectively, therefore not something that you can exploit. With Keris Levert, none of this changes as you just slide him at the two guard spot. He's not known for his defense, of course, but the effect that Mobley and Allen have will make him appear to be a better defender in Cleveland. Having those two as help defenders from any side will let him play with more confidence as a defender because he knows that if he gets beat, it's okay. He's got two of the best defenders in the league at their positions holding it down for him. I would expect his advanced defensive stats to be elevated in Cleveland for this reason. We see this with the Utah Jazz so much, right? The perimeter defenders can play heavy on one side, forcing a defender into the help of Rudy Gobert. Real simple. But this move wasn't made with defense in mind. There's no need to fix something that's already top three in the league. The Cavs were missing a secondary ball handler in their offense that can play make and just create offense overall. They already have Darius Garland, who's been sensational in that role of the facilitator and primary creator of the offense, but you need a second guy who does this in the lineup as well to truly reach the next level as a team. Because if Cleveland is lacking in anything, it's the offensive end of the ball where they rank 23rd in points per game with the 18th ranked offensive rating. Levert will definitely have these numbers up for the Cavs when he gets there because the player that they are getting is a score straight bucket getter who was putting up nearly 19 a game for Indiana. He is really good using ball screens where he finds most of his shot opportunities penetrating towards the basket and settling into a short mid-range shot in the lane, whether that be a pull-up or floater most of the time. And although it's a less efficient shot, he can also pull up from three off of these ball screens if defenses do not respect him. Ultimately, it is better to shoot these shots even if you hit them 30% of the time because the defense will still have to entertain that as an option, opening up more choices that can be made off this set. And I expect him to perform even better in Cleveland with these sets because he will have Jared Allen and Evan Mobley as his primary screeners. Two athletic freaks who are used to receiving lobs on a regular basis. Plus, Allen has been one of the best pick and roll big men in the entire NBA this year. He's been eating. Lafert is going to have no problem setting up his teammates on these opportunities off the defensive attention that he is getting. It is absolutely huge to have him on this team because of this. They don't have to completely rely on Darius Garland to initiate all of their offense now. They have a legitimate second scoring option that can create completely for himself while also setting up others off of his own scoring skill set when defenses overcommit to stop him. He can self-create and that's what it's all about. 
There's not an abundance of players in the league that are like that, but Levert is one of them. I've seen some people say that Levert needs the ball in his hands to do anything and that he won't be good for their offense, he'll be demanding the ball. I really don't like this narrative. He didn't get many off-ball catch-and-shoot opportunities in Indiana for obvious reasons, but on his 1.8 catch-and-shoot threes per game, he shot just below 39%. He is fully capable of playing off the ball during possessions when Garland is running the show. Him being off the ball really isn't anything to be concerned about and the gravity of a Garland Allen pick and roll is going to open up opportunities for him to play well off the ball. This is really a guy who's not meant to be the primary option in an offense that was being forced into that role on a mediocre team that faced a lot of injuries. If anything, he's about to be in a more comfortable role on this new team. The Cleveland Cavaliers needed offense and this is exactly what they got in Karis LeVert. They have addressed their biggest need which was a secondary shot creator while not giving up any member of their current rotation. That's a huge move by the Cleveland Cavaliers to become deadly when combined with their elite defense. Teams aren't going to want to see them in a playoff matchup. They can give anyone problems. But hey man, you made it to the end of the video, so you might as well go ahead and drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. If you like basketball content, this is the place to be here on YouTube. The support is very appreciated. But for now, I'm out of here. And remember, keep on hooping.